Hey guys, it's Jen from I Create Crafts. Today I'm going to show you a very easy way to make these beautiful and personalized makeup bags. Alright guys, so to make these really cute and fun makeup bags, I start in Design Space and I already have mine open. Um, when I open this file, it's a little bit larger. So I just did it already. Um, what I did is I went to design bundles and I just typed in makeup bag SVG and these came up. There's a lot more than this, um, but I just took out the ones that I really liked. Um, this one I made myself here, this one I made myself, and also this one. For the eyelashes and the eyebrow, I just typed in free SVG eyelashes or eyes or something and, and this is what came up and I just saved it and put it into design space. All these other ones I purchased through design bundles and I'll leave the link below if you're interested in any of these. Um, so I'm just going to show you a quick tutorial on how to make them or how to make the bags I should say. Uh, so for this makeup queen one, I'm going to leave it the way it is. I like the colors and I like what it says so I'm going to leave it. Um, one thing I will show you. Um, sometimes when you buy an SVG, they do not attach them, so which means like this queen would just be, it would just spell it out. It wouldn't make it in the order that you see it. So I'm actually going to work with this one a little bit. So I have it selected. I'm going to click ungroup and then I'm going to click on the queen and attach it, which means it will cut it out just the way you see it. And I'm not sure with this part if it's going to be attached or not, so I'm just going to go ahead and attach that part as well. So when this cuts out, it's just going to cut out queen as you see it. Otherwise, if you wouldn't attach it, it would just do um, them individually, if that makes sense. So another one I'm going to work with is this one. I like where it's, the words are, I like how the words are, but I really don't know what this mouth is that they put on there. I'm going to take the mouth out and switch it with this one. This one I found on Google again. I just typed in lips SVG and this came up so I saved it to design space. So I have this one already selected and I'm going to click ungroup. That's just going to ungroup everything for me so I can swap these lips out again. I don't really like them. You might like them. I don't. So I'm just going to X out of that one. And I'm going to duplicate this one just in case I want it for another one. So I have it selected. I'm just going to go up here and push duplicate. You can right click and copy. But I just like to do that. It's a little bit quicker. So I'll put it up here. And now that I ungrouped it, I'm not sure if it will cut it out as you see it. So again, the same thing with the makeup queen. It might cut out the letters individually or just do the makeup and then another line with a squiggly line and then is my life um, but I want it to be all as one so I'm going to move the lips for now and I'm going to select all three or four of these words and I'm just going to go to attach and that's just going to make it cut out as you see it so that one is finished I'm just going to move the lips back because when I want to resize it I want it all together as one piece I think just lagging a little bit. So I like the one, this one how it is. I'm going to leave it alone and I'm going to work with this makeup uh, addict. Again, I don't know what these lips are. <sighs> you might like them. I don't. So I'm going to change it up. So I'm going to ungroup it after I select it all. I'm going to click on the mouth and I'm going to X out of it. This is why I always make duplicates of stuff. So I'm going to click on this mouthpiece again and just duplicate it. And then move it wherever you want. It doesn't have to be the same spot that it was before. I have the lips and I want to change this little pink lipstick to be the same color red. So I'm going to click on that, the lipstick, and you can see here it's all attached. You're going to go up to ungroup and that is going to unattach this pink part to the black part for me. And I'm going to go up to my color up here and I'm just going to change it to the red. But now that I know that they are all individual again, after it changes it to red for me, I'm actually going to move this over and I'm going to move the lips 
and I'm just going to select this black part here. And while I have it selected, I'm going to push attach and it's going to cut it out as you see it. It's not going to do it individually. And <clears throat> just for resizing purposes, I'm going to move the red lipstick back and also the lips back. So when I resize it, it'll all be the size that I want. Oops. So roughly where I want it. So I can size this up the way I want it as well. So I think I like how they look. I'm just going to go in and resize each one of them. Um, I figured my bags are about six and a half by four. So I'm going to go in and change each one of these to the size that I want. You don't have to watch me do that. Um, and then I will cut them out. I will weed it out on the different colors and then I'll show you how to uh, apply it to your bag. All right guys, so I have all of my vinyl cut. Um, to show you a few of them what they look like. They turned out really cool. Um, so what I did was kind of put everything together so when I when I do the next step I can just easily grab it. So here's one that I kind of started already, my makeup bag, um, and I'm just kind of putting it, trying to get it as center as possible, and then this one's going to need the little lips on it. So when you do um, HTV, you got to press the first layer first and then the second layer. So I'm just going to put it on just like this and um, make it even on every side. I'll press it and then I will add the lips to it. But that's the part that I'm doing now is just kind of getting everything together. So I can show you really quick another one. I have another bag here. Um, I believe this is polyester. Um, so I have my heat press set at... I think it's 170 um, and I'm gonna press it for 15 seconds but one thing you got to remember is you want to have something on the inside of it like a piece of parchment paper or something and also you do not want to do the zipper so when I go to my heat press I'm gonna just put it this way and have this edge out um, so I'm not pressing that but that's just my next step is I'm just gonna put everything together now and I'll just show okay you. so here we are at my heat press I have it set at 275 for 20 seconds I am using I believe this bag is polyester so I'm using a little bit more heat in a couple more seconds than what it says it says about 270 for about 10 seconds but I'm just doing it a little bit longer so I have my heat transfer vinyl on here exactly where I want to put it. Before I put it on my heat press, I'm going to take a piece of parchment paper and just put it on the inside of it so it won't melt anything. So I'm just going to make sure I have it even. And then another thing when using zippers, you always like to try to keep it off of the heat press. I made the mistake and melted one of my husband's sweaters. Oops. So, um, please don't make the same mistake I did, but once you have it centered where you want it, you just want to put your protective paper on it and then just press it. But again, I'm doing it at 275 for 20 seconds. I think it's 270 for 10 seconds, but I just went up a little bit. Then when it's finished, just pull it up and be very careful. It's going to be hot. And then mine is just a quick peel, so I'm going to peel it off slowly, making sure that everywhere was sticking. And then here is this part. It says, makeup is my art. So the next part to this was just a set of these cute little lips that I found on Google. So I'm just going to put it on wherever I want it again, press it down a little bit, turn it over. You don't want to get your zipper. And then just do the same process process put your paper over and then just press it then again when it's finished pull it up be very careful it's going to be hot and just peel it off and there it is I'll save this for the next one and here it is finished it turned out pretty cute um, yeah, so I make these as little gifts for my children or friends or I'm going to try to sell it at a couple of shops if anybody's interested. Um, you can use a heat press if you have one. You can use an iron. You can use the mini press. I believe it's called. I um, just upgraded from a iron to this. Uh, I saved some money and I love this so much. I will leave the link below for the one that I have that I purchased through Amazon. It's one of the cheaper ones, but... I've never had a problem with this. So I'm just gonna keep continuing. I'll keep showing you. I'll show you the next one. But this heat press definitely saved me time. 
So this one again, this one says makeup is my life. It's kind of neat. And then it comes with a pair of lips too, but I'm just going to put it in the center. See where it goes. And then again, I'm just going to flip it over so I do not get the zipper. Put the protective paper over. I'm not sure what this stuff's called. I just call it protective paper. So if you know, please leave a comment below. And then I'll just press it for the 20 seconds. It's finished. Push this away. Oops. Peel it off slowly. Making sure that all HDV is on. Wow, I like that one. And then the last part is the lips. I'm going to put the lips on. Maybe kind of sideways a little bit. And then just do the same thing. This is such a fun and easy thing to do. My kids love making things with me. I do um, just personalized t-shirts and stuff with them and I make t-shirts for, you know, the I Create Crafts. I've done it for our um, Homestead channel. Uh, you can make, the possibilities are endless. It's so much fun to have this. So if you do not have a heat press, I would definitely recommend looking into one. finished. Here's the last part. Peel it back. Perfect. I love it when things work out like they're supposed to. So this one is finished. Um, I would just, you know, run your fingers over it and make sure it's not sticking up anywhere. I do see a mistake that I already made. Um, I did forget to open this up and put the parchment paper in, so we'll see. Like I said, I think it's more just a precaution that it doesn't stick to the other side. But um, this opened up just fine. But I would just suggest using the parchment paper just in case. But I'm gonna finish these up and then I will show you the finished product of all of them. I'm really excited about these. So here are my finished makeup bags. I really like how these turned out. I hope this tutorial will help you create your own makeup bags. And I hope you have fun making these. If you like this video, please leave a big thumbs up and be sure to subscribe to my channel as I have more crafts that I'm creating. Have a great day everyone!